Today, you will pay the price for your crimes against Glissé! Dan is the young governor of Glissé, and Dan kind of represents everything that's wrong with Dutch colonialism. The first episode was really a snapshot, a status quo of, of Kalia. Her life, her motivations, before tragedy comes to town. We have a very, very personal entry into the world of Brissette. It was really important for me that that journey was always seen through her eyes. Kalia is a symbol of empowerment and independent, bold and brave young women. Her father is a rebel, so she's lifted by her father's spirit of rebellion. She has a natural inclination to survive and to fight. A rebel is nothing but a disruptor without an aim. The first episode was really a snapshot, a status quo of Kalia and how this town operates. The daughter of Amir, the leader of the rebellion. In the prison, she was in a dream state of grief until the inciting incident. Which maybe the universe is telling her to get up, fight back. Maran is a freedom fighter. He fought Kalia's father. He had originally been betrothed to her when they were very young. Maran? Is that you? Maran is a very square guy and he's old testament. There's no gray area where there's only black people. I am fighting for the freedom of our people. Never asked for your choice. Jambu is half blood. He is not accepted by the people. So he's a very dark character. I'm Chi. She has balls. I mean, this woman is not afraid to do what she thinks, and she's no nonsense. Dan is an insane man with so much power, so he's quite a dangerous sort of character. Dan kind of represents everything that's wrong with Dutch colonialism. You will all pay for this disrespect! It's part of the fear uh, mechanism, and you get a population that is tired of being shown how to be scared. When the rebellion starts and when the Dutch get out of the you then have this incredible power vacuum. It's like law and order's gone all of a sudden. And so who's who's going to run the streets now?